All right, you guys remember George Hill? Because I remember George Hill. He was actually spotted in San Antonio recently, and I want to want to talk about it. I want some nasty. Are we having fun yet? All right, before we dive in really quick, if you guys want to support the channel, clanthemerchfan.com, link it in the description, or become a patron of YouTube member, only $2 a month. I'm actually doing 10% of off all orders, and all you have to do is just use promo code clan10 um, at checkout. So yeah, so let's talk about this. Um, George Hill, he basically went to visit his father in San Antonio, um, whose uh, birthday uh, just hit, and his father, I don't know if you guys knew this, but he works in public uh, works, and he just came to help him out um while he was he was working and everything and hopefully they celebrate his birthday i i have no idea his dad looked like he about the business so I, I don't know if he celebrated his birthday at all um but with that being said there's some more information that i knew about this but i think some people might have either forgot or just didn't know or didn't realize this but george hill's actually in san antonio a lot and the reason being is because he has a residence that's not too far out from San Antonio. I think it's about 30 minutes from San Antonio, half an hour. Um, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this is the place. Uh, so he has an 850 acre ranch uh, with zebras, kangaroos, and wild beasts. And he basically said, hey, you know, I'm a country boy, okay? Uh, <laughs> and his kids, he wanted them to be able to have like multiple animals uh, to play with and, and, and hang out with and, and, and nurture uh, rather than just dogs and, and cats. And that's just the type of guy he is. Um, he, he's, he's just country. It's, it's just who he is. Now, with that being said, I wanted to bring this up because George Hill, as I said, is always spotted in San Antonio. And when he's in San Antonio, he helps out constantly. Let's watch this video just really quickly. Um, I don't remember how far back, uh, this was, but this was another instance of George Hill not being with the San Antonio Spurs, but yet and still giving back, uh, to the community. Just here today at North Central Baptist Hospital, spreading the love, um, trying to get the first responders, people that uh, getting all these clients in who, who may be dealing with sickness and things like that firsthand. Uh, just trying to feed them. They're working long hours, not being able to go out and get lunch with the cafeterias closed here and things like that. So partnered with Bushes, Tony Kane and Bushes here in San Antonio to provide 100 meals for all the employees here at the hospital to just say thank you for all you're doing. and sacrificing your own self to help others so we thank you for that all right all right enough of, enough of the cheesy music enough enough of that enough of that Where, where's my good stuff all right okay so yeah so as you can see there he's he was still given to uh san antonio so this is about three years ago um so yeah so he, he's just he's just constantly there constantly giving so with that being said this is what i really wanted to get into okay um this is something that i haven't heard a lot of people talk about and but i get this question often and people always ask who could we add to this team? And I didn't really want to answer because I didn't really care. That was before I knew we got Wimby. Now that I know that we're getting Wimby, all bets are off, baby. I, I'm good. Uh, we can go straight into it. Uh, so I really think that grabbing George Hill would be best for this team right now. Now, I know some people might say, uh, well, hold on. Wait, where is George Hill? Here he is. Yeah, I have to change the experience. 15 years experience. Um, I know some people will say, George Hill, he's not going to be able to give to the team. That's the point. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm not necessarily worried about whether or not George Hill would get playing time or anything like that. I just think that he's the type of player that will be super beneficial towards us right now. I know some people have said, well, what about some big men in free agency that can help out Wimby? Personally, honestly, if I'm being real, I looked at the big man list um, as far as who's going to be free agent, and I don't really think signing any, uh, any of them would be that much like beneficial to towards Wimby. Um, we already have Tim Duncan who already said that he's going to mentor him. Uh, we're going to have Manu, Tony there. So he has a lot of great influences. But I was thinking about what are we missing right now and who would need someone like George Hill the most. And the two players that came to mind actually were Malachi Branham and uh, Blake Wesley. And the reason being is because there's two things about George Hill that I absolutely uh, love throughout his career is that he's been so able to adjust to different roles, um, whether it be a facilitator or whether it be a uh, catch and shooter or, you know, having to be a shooting guard on the team. He's adjusted throughout his career uh, over and over and over and over again and very high IQ in that. 
And I think that that part of his game, being able to adjust to different roles will be perfect for Malachi Branham because Malachi Branham, if you guys don't know, he actually can run point guard quite a bit. I know that obviously during, you know, tenure of his career, he'll be more so like a shooting guard and everything like that, but he can run a point guard. He's, he's good in the pick and roll. Um, he's, he's a phenomenal catch and shoot player. And I think having George Hill benefits him in that regard. Another thing about George Hill, and this is the second thing is he's very poised, <laughs> very, very poised. And the one weakness that Blake Wesley has is he is not poised. I, I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Obviously he's super young. He has a lot, lot to learn and everything like that. But I think even the Spurs know that Blake Wesley was the closest thing to a project player in this last draft uh, than anyone else. Malachi Branham established, uh, Jeremy Sohan pretty established on what they're more than likely going to be, um, pretty solid. Uh, but Blake Wesley, he's one that he he was going to need some some work. And I think that poisonous that George Hill has could really help him uh, at that point guard position. So regardless of what the San Antonio Spurs do uh, in the draft, whether they try and get uh, Eamon Thompson or whether they try to get um, uh, Case and Wallace or wh whatever they want to do, I think that regardless, bringing in a guy like George Hill would be ideal for us. Um, he knows the culture. He loves San Antonio. He is a spur at heart and it would just be, I don't know, man, it's just kind of, it's kind of a perfect picture, isn't it? I mean, we, we shipped him off, got Kawhi, um, got a championship out of it. So you, you do not regret it at all. Um, but then, you know, Kawhi screws, screws us over and now it's a new era of basketball and we bring in George Hill to help out the new, uh, the newcomers. And one thing to keep in mind as well is George Hill. I know that clip always comes around or goes around where George Hill challenged Kobe Bryant. And I do love that. Okay. He had a chip on his shoulder, but one thing I loved about George Hill was this, he was just so smart. He, he is very high IQ player. Even Popovich knew this and that's why he even gave him uh, if you guys remember, he gave him the pad to go ahead and uh, coach uh, part of the game, uh, one of those games. And it was really impressive. He did a good job, too. So, yeah, I just think George Hill coming back to San Antonio would be perfect. Um, and like I said, as far as big man, I don't really see uh, anybody because I, I would want a big man with some experience. Udonis Haslam, he's out. Andre Godawa, Rudy Gay, Jeff Green, Gallinari. Um, possibly Danny Green would be cool. It, it, it just doesn't really seem like anybody where I just get overly excited. Those are the forwards, by the way. Um, strange putting, I, I guess Danny Green is a forward, huh? Shooting guard slash small forward. Um, that's kind of weird. But anyways, and then you go to the centers and you have this dude experience. Uh, Brooke Lopez, Kevin Love, DeAndre Jordan, Robin Lopez, Todd Gibson. Just showing you so you don't think that I was just like making that up that I don't think any of these guys would be that beneficial towards someone like Wimby. Um, but yeah, just overall, as far as who will be most beneficial to the team, I think George Hill is that guy. And him being spotted in San Antonio as often as he's spotted in San Antonio is, is, is great. Um, there was also something here, I think it was in this article that I read uh, from obviously a few years back where uh, uh, guys on his team said that, yeah, he, he, he goes back and he visits uh, San Antonio often. So it's always in Texas. So anyways, just want to bring that to your attention. Uh, I'll give it to you guys later. You want to support the channel as always, claim the merchfan.com. Um, like I said, 10% off all orders or become a patron YouTube member, only $2 a month. Until next time, bye.